In the previous Gresty Academy video, we looked at um, converting cos to the nx or sine to the nx into cos nx or sine nx. And in this video, we're going to do the exact opposite, which is convert cos nx or sine nx into an expression involving various powers of cos nx or sine nx. OK, and the way we're going to do that is the same as uh, uh, yesterday's, uh, which is uh, using de Moivre here. e to the i theta to the power of n equals e to the i n theta, which is cos theta add i sine theta to the n, which is cos n theta add i sine n theta. OK, so what we're going to do, uh, and we'll do it with an example because uh, that's the easiest way, what we're going to do is we are going to get cos of 6 theta and sine of 6 theta in terms of cos to the nx and sine to the nx. And the way we're going to do that is we are going to use de Moivre and we're just simply going to say that uh, cos theta plus i sine theta to the power of 6, just putting letting n equal 6, equals cos of 6 theta add i sine of 6 theta by the de Moivre, de Moivre uh, per above. And then all we're going to do is we are going to expand this side of the equation. Um, and so we're going to get, uh, again, using Pascal's triangle, um, we're gonna, we've are we got to be a little bit careful with the i, but anyway, so that's going to be um, cos to the power of 6 theta add 6, cos to the power of 5 theta times i sine theta add 10, uh, sorry, add 15, sorry, my apologies. Uh, don't know, don't know my own Pascal's triangle. Add fifteen cos to the power of four theta times i squared sine squared theta. Add twenty cos cubed theta i cubed sine cubed theta. Add and let's carry on down the uh, the next line. Add fifteen cos squared theta times i to the power of four sine to the power of four theta. Add 6 cos theta sine to the power of 5 theta times i to the 5. Uh, add i to the power of 6 times sine to the power of 6 theta. OK, so that is the expansion of this. Um, and that all, all of this here equals cos 6 theta add i sine 6 theta. So all we need to do to find cos 6 theta in terms of... Um, powers of sine and cos is uh, just compare the reals. So cos 6 theta, which is the real part of this, this is imaginary. And let's have a look at the real terms. We've got a real term here, there's an i there. i squared is minus 1, so that will be minus 1. i cubed is minus i, so that will be imaginary. Uh, i to the 4 is 1, so we know that's 1. i to the power of 5 is i, so we know that's going to be imaginary. And i to the power of 6 is going to be minus 1, so that's going to be real. So let's just circle the reals. That's going to be real, that's going to be real, uh, that one's going to be real, and that one's going to be real. So cos 6 theta, which is the real part of this, equals cos to the 6 theta, which is that one, add 15 cos to the 4 theta times minus 1 times sine squared theta. Remember that i squared is minus 1. Add 15 times cos squared theta sine to the 4 theta, because i to the power of 4 is, is 1, and then uh, minus sine to the 6 theta. OK, so we've got cos 6 theta in terms of powers of cos and sine, but we actually want it, ideally, we want it into powers of just cos. So we're going to use cos squared theta equals 1 minus sine squared theta. And uh, just to make things a little bit easier, we're going we're gonna to use C for cos theta and S for sine theta. Otherwise, it just gets a little bit boring uh, writing uh, cos theta all the time. So um, we've got cos 6 theta equals, so here, c to the power of 6, that's cos 6 theta, add 15 cos to the power of 4, sorry, minus 15, my apologies, because that's a minus 1 there, minus 15, minus 15 cos to the power of 4 times 
sine squared, we're going to replace sine squared by 1 minus cos squared. 1 minus cos squared. Add 15 cos squared times sine to the 4, which is 1 minus cos squared squared, minus sine to the 6, which is 1 minus cos squared cubed. And you'll now see why I'm using C rather than cos theta, because we've got to expand all of this lot, uh, which equals, let's uh, go. So we've got C to the 6 minus 15 C to the 4. We're just expanding this bit now. Add 15 C to the 6. Add 15 C squared 1 minus 2c squared add c to the 4, that's expanding this bit, uh, minus, just doing this last term here, uh, brackets 1 minus 3c squared add 3c to the 4 minus c to the 6, which equals, keep going, c to the 6 minus 15c to the 4, no, I've made a mistake here, add 15c to the 6, add... 15c squared, sorry, c to the 6, add 15c squared minus 30c to the 4, add 15c to the 6, and then last uh, bracket, we've just got to expand, minus 1, being very careful with our minuses, add 3c squared minus 3c to the 4, add c to the 6. And now all we've got to do is add up our c to the 6, c to the 4, and c squared, and we can get our cos 6 theta, in terms of powers of cos, will be, let's have a look, we've got... Uh, um, 116, uh, that's 31, 32 cos to the power of 6 theta. Uh, and how many C4s? We've got minus 15, minus 30, it's minus 45, minus 48, minus 48 cos to the power of 4 theta. Add cos squared is uh, 15, 18. Add 18 cos squared theta minus 1, which is the only one left. And that is the ex expanding cos to the s cos of 6 theta in terms of powers of cos theta. Okay, now we can also do the same for sine 6 theta just by examining the imaginaries. So sine 6 theta equals, and let's just go back uh, up to our original equation here, and let's just have a look at the imaginaries. Let's try and find a different colour here. Uh, let's have a look at the imaginaries, I'll put it in blue. So the imaginaries are here, here, and here. There's only three imaginary terms, and the imaginary part of this term is sine 6 theta. So sine 6 theta will equal the sum of those three expressions in blue, which is, and again, I'm going to use C for cos and S for sine, and uh, we don't need to include the i's here because all of them have an i, so the i will cancel out, and we get sine of 6 theta equals 6 uh, cos to the power of 5 uh, theta sine add 20 cos cubed times uh, i sine cubed. Just got to be careful with that i. Uh, sorry, there's an i in here. And there's an i here. Let's put. Let's leave the i in. Sorry, I'm, I'm doing too many steps here. So i six sine six theta is six cos to the five sine times i. Add twenty cos cubed times i sine cubed. Add six cos times i sine to the power of five. All I've done there is just taken these three expressions out of there and compared them to the imaginary part of cos six theta and i sine six theta. Okay, now. We can just uh, get rid of the i. So i cubed here is minus i. And i to the 5 is the same as i. So we can now cancel out the i. And it will leave us with sine 6 theta equals 6 cos to the 5 theta sine theta minus 20, because of the i, minus 20 cos cubed theta sine cubed theta, add 6 cos theta sine to the 5 theta. And that is sine of 6 theta in terms of powers of cos and powers of sine. Now, 